All right, thank you, Tashara. So this morning we are talking about the medical staff in Cincinnati, and they have some good news on Damar Hamlin. Doctors confirmed that he is awake and responsive after going into cardiac arrest on Monday. He's still recovering, though. There is going to be a long process to go. Chris Sodergy is following the social reaction. Chris, so basically I think a lot of people are kind of feeling this collective sigh of relief. Yes, Kara, the latest updates on Damar Hamlin's condition, the most positive we've received since his injury on Monday night. Meanwhile, the league also meeting today to discuss how they're going to handle the rest of the season because of the injury and that canceled game. Buffalo Bills tweeting out this update yesterday saying, per the physicians caring for Damar Hamlin at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, he's shown remarkable improvement over the past 24 hours. While still critically ill, he has demonstrated that he appears to be neurologically intact, his lungs continue to heal, and he is making steady progress. So that is great news. They also tweeted news that the game between the Bills and Bengals will not be completed. Today, the NFL will hold a special meeting to decide scenarios for the season since the game between Buffalo and Cincinnati would have had a big impact on playoff seating and home field advantage. The scenarios include possible neutral site games in the playoffs. So the injury and canceled game do, does not work to anyone's advantage or disadvantage. But that was the furthest thing from the minds of Hamlin's doctors, coaches and teammates. You lose sleep. You hurt for your brother. The scene just replays over and over in your head. It's something we'll never forget. For now, DeMar to be awake and his mom to be able to share that with him is it's incredible. He is now able to communicate by writing, and he did so. They say that one of the first questions he asked was, did we win? They told him that he won the game of life, and the cartoonist Adam Zyglis for the Buffalo, New Buffalo News kind of portraying that in this cartoon here with him writing, did we win, and the heart rate monitor saying, Yes, Mark and Kara, back to yeah, you. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Thank you, Chris.